Hello guys, so in this lesson we're going to start a Unity project from scratch and then we're going to install the Universal Render Pipeline. So to do that, let's go ahead and click New and we're not going to be using the template, which is actually the best way to start with the URP Pipeline, but we'll just create a 2D project and you just call that URP underscore manual and let's just click on Create. So now that Unity has loaded, we have a blank and new fresh Unity project. So now that Unity has loaded, we'll be looking at the uh, how we can install the Universal Render Pipeline. Now the Universal Render Pipeline is a pre-built scriptable render pipeline asset and it allows you to create optimized graphics across PC and cross-platform, across other mobile platforms. And it also provides a uni unified post-processing solution. So what we're going to do right now is to use a series of steps to uh, create the Universal Render Pipeline. Another good thing about the Universal Render Pipeline is that it has the Shader Graph. Uh, shader Graph is a Unity tool and this tool allows you to create shaders using a visual node editor instead of writing code. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to go to Window and we'll click on the package manager. With the package manager, we can actually uh, install the uh, any plugins we need. So first, we're going to scroll down to under U because we're going to look for the universal RP. So RS. So uh, yeah, it's just right here, universal uh, RP. So we can just click on that. And just right here at the bottom right, we're going to say install. So this is going to install the universal render pipeline asset. Uh, like we explained, it's a scriptable, red, scriptable render pipeline, which makes it uh, cross-platform and optimized for use in rendering your uh, graphics for mobiles and high-end uh, PCs. So we'll just wait for that to install. Once it installs, we'll go ahead and begin the setup for the universal render pipeline. All right, so once Unity has installed the Universal Render Pipeline from our package, our next step is to create the uh, pipeline asset. So let's go ahead and just close up the package manager. And if we can check on all packages, we can see that we have the Universal uh, RP. Great, so right now, after we've downloaded the um, Universal Render Pipeline asset scriptable package, let's go ahead and see how we can set that. So if we go to our uh, edit and we go to our project settings, we can see that the scriptable render pipeline asset slot is empty. We have this none that says there is no render pipeline asset. So let's go ahead and create one. So we'll go back to our assets package and right click on the projects tab on the assets and let's go to create and let's go to rendering and go to universal render pipeline and let's create the uh, pipeline asset for renderer. So now that we've had this uh, pipeline asset for renderer, we can now go back to the project settings and click the uh, scriptable pipeline asset that we created. So right here we have the uh, scriptable uh, pipeline asset renderer, just like that. So let's go back to our edit and let's go to our project settings. And just right here, we can pick the re universal render pipeline asset that we just created right now. So this means our project is going to use this uh, pipeline asset. So now that we've changed it. So the next thing we're going to do is to create the uh, renderer for the 2D. So because we're going to be using a uh, 2D renderer, so let's just go ahead and just close this guy. So we need to now create that uh, 2D renderer. So to do that, let's go ahead and go to a uh, right click and go to create then we go to rendering and we'll go to universal and now we're going to create a 2d renderer just like that so good now that we have that 2d renderer we're going to set this new 2d renderer we've created in our universal pipeline asset so to do that we're just going to drag this like that and just drop it right here so we have that 2D renderer set in our uh, pipeline. So uh, in case we, you're actually upgrading this project to another project, if you run this, you might get errors because your scene is not was not using the universal uh, pipeline asset. So to do that, what we're going to do is to go to edit. And this step is simply just to upgrade your assets to uh, work with the universal render uh, pipeline assets. So what we're going to do is go, go into edit and we'll go to uh, render pipeline. 
just like here, render pipeline. And where it says universal render pipeline, you're gonna click upgrade materials to universal render pipeline materials. So to test and give you an example of what we mean, let's go ahead and let's say we've created a standard material. So let's go ahead and say create and let's create a material. But this time around, we'll set the material to the uh, Unity's default standard material. So we have the standard material. And usually when Unity encounters an error with textures or materials, you'll see this pink you know, our default error material has been created. So what we're going to do, and imagine you have hundreds of this. So you have to actually go in manually and change them back to the uh, universal render pipeline to solve that problem. Well, Unity has a handy tool that lets you upgrade your entire project materials to use the universal render pipeline material. So to do that, we could actually fix this manually, but we'll just use the automatic method. So the first thing we're going to go to is edit, and we'll go down to render pipeline, and go down to universal render pipeline. Then we can select upgrade project materials to universal render pipeline materials. We can click on proceed. And then our materials in our project have been upgraded to the universal render pipeline. And it's going to use the shader for the universal render pipeline. So we can actually select the URP and then we can select any shader we want. If you're using a sprite, you can use the uh, sprite lit material and you can start working with those shaders. Now the good thing about working with the universal render pipeline is that you can actually use the uh, shader graph. So uh, because this is a fresh new project and we have universal render pipeline, let's go ahead and check and see if we have the uh, shader graph installed. So I'll just drag this down and shader graph comes built in with this guy. And there we have it. So we have the uh, shader graph, All right? So, um, that's how you can uh, create a project from scratch. And what we've learned in this lesson is to go to use the uh, a recap, is go to a window and we can select our package manager. When we are on our package manager, we'll click on the universal render pipeline and click install. Once we have the universal render pipeline, we'll go to our assets folder, right click, and we'll go to create and we'll create a uh, rendering. And then we'll create a universal render pipeline pipeline asset. Once we have that pipeline asset, we'll go to edit and we'll go to our project settings and we can set the universal render pipeline asset. Once we have that uh, universal render pipeline asset created, we can actually go to right click and we can create and go back to rendering universal render pipeline. We can create the 2D renderer or any other renderer we want. And then we can get back to our universal pipeline asset and we can set that um, pipe, we can set the new 2D renderer we created by clicking and dragging that data into the data slot. And then once we have materials in our project and we want to upgrade the materials in our project, all the materials in our project to work with the universal render pipeline project, we can go to uh, edit and we can go to render pipeline, universal render pipeline, and we can either select our materials and select those materials, or we can upgrade the entire project materials to the universal render pipeline. So uh, basically that's how you can convert your project using the um, manual method of upgrading everything to the uh, universal render pipeline. Or you could simply do what I do most of the time by just using the universal render pipeline template from the Unity Asset Store. This method is more suitable in case you've had an older project and you're trying to upgrade that project, but you don't have the universal render pipeline installed because you've begun to use the normal, you know, standard shaders and others. This can prove to be helpful. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And in our next lesson, we're going to start looking at the Unity shader graph interface and then start building, understanding the shader uh, interface. Thank you very much for watching.